Nunchucks are evil. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 10th episode of the show Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 165th episode overall titled Graduation Blues. We start this episode in Principal Kaplan's office, which is kind of weird to see. Billy walks in and Kaplan explains that a big mistake has been made with him. Apparently there's been a computer error, so Billy has exceeded the requirement needed to graduate. Billy says, wait, I have another year, and Kaplan says, not anymore, just giving him his diploma. Uh. Volk and Skull are with Stone getting assigned to get rid of garbage from the Academy picnic. Volk then explains that they have a better way. Skull whistles, and here comes Goldar and Rito, ready to collect trash. I legitimately forgot about them. Then a mini earthquake occurs, and Volk and Skull and the two monsters run to check out what happened, and dun dun dun, they find a crash landed spaceship that's electrified. Volk and Skull want to save whoever is inside to be the heroes of the day, and Skull can't get it open, but then he kicks it, opening the door. Water pours out onto the ground and onto them. Next, freaking Sestro, the blue alien ranger from last season, walks out of the ship. They scream at him and he screams back at them, which is like, kind of hilarious. Sestro says that he needs to find a human named Billy. The fate of the world depends on it. Mondo and crew see that this has happened, and Sprocket says that they're at a party. At the youth center, everyone is celebrating Billy graduating, and they're talking about how Billy's gonna do so much now. Skull then comes up, awkwardly shaking Billy's hand and walking away with him outside to the plaza, finding Sestro and Bulk out there. It's really nice to see because Skull and Bulk have actually really known Billy for a very long time. Sestro explains that Aquatar is in trouble, and Billy says that he can help him leaving with him, but before he leaves, Bulk slaps him on the back of the head. Then Bulk says that the spaceship is well guarded. You then see that Goldar and Rito are there and Stone finds them trying to confront them but everyone just ends up screaming at each other again. In the power chamber, Sesho explains that a bunch of villains known as the Hydro Contaminators have really destroyed a lot of Aquatar and he can't even teleport or power his battle board anymore because of it. He explains that they need the rangers help. They've been trying to develop a weapon capable of destroying the monsters but their prototype is unreliable. Billy agrees to help and Sestro says that they have to hurry because he only has about two hours before he has to get back home. Then the alarms go off and a hydro contaminator has arrived on Earth. And Sestro is kind of freaking out and Alpha contacts the Rangers immediately. They have to get back to Sestro's ship to make sure that his prototype is okay. Also, Rito, Goldar, and Stone are chasing each other around apparently. Billy and Sestro arrive at the ship and Sestro opens the door getting the prototype out. He puts it down to show it to Billy. It's in pieces still and it needs a lot of work. Then the Hydro Contaminator shows up chasing toward them. The Zeo Rangers then teleport in. Mondo sees the Hydro Contaminator on Earth and he's confused as to what is happening but he decides that he'll just help it out anyways. Cogs appear on the beach fighting the Rangers letting the monster get to the lake behind him. Billy says that he and Sesho need to get back to the power chamber to stop the Hydro Contaminator. Also the Rangers are really struggling against the Cogs for whatever reason getting blown up. The monster is getting closer and closer to the lake water and they can't get through the cogs. Then Tommy gets free, cause of course, powering through a few cogs doing a power kick to the hydro contaminator's face. Now the other rangers are also doing a lot better, tossing the cogs into the lake water making them explode evidently. They tell the monster to leave and he says he will once he's contaminated the water, teleporting out. The rangers leave as well. Stone runs out of the bushes and he finds Bulk and Skull, explaining to them that uh, they're under an alien attack right now. He describes Goldar and Rito to them and Bulk and Skull are now stuck in this really weird situation trying to tell Goldar and Rito to beat it. The cogs in the hydro contaminator arrive at the city's water treatment plant and suddenly hydro contaminator starts fading in and out for some reason. What? Then Sprocket and Cogs show up and Sprocket says that if they get rid of the rangers, he'll give him all the water that he wants. In the power chamber, everyone is together rehashing everything that's happening. Then Alpha finds the monster and Sesho volunteers to go with them, but they explain that he needs to help Billy. Also, we really don't have footage for this morph. Back to action. The Rangers show up using their zero power weapons to fight off the cogs. As we know, Tommy has the zero power sword. Adam has the power hatchets. Rocky has the power axes. Anya has the power double clubs, which we rarely see because nunchucks are evil. And we've seen Cat's power disc before. The Rangers take on the monster who just disappears and he's actually invisible, hitting them anyways. The Rangers aren't doing very well here. In the power chamber, Billy has gotten something figured out a bit with the weapon and Billy says that it will only work on Earth, but it might not work on Aquatar. That totally defeats the purpose, but okay. So he's going to return with Sesho back to Aquatar and Sesho hits him on the back of the head just like Bulk did and it hits Billy's contacts out. Alpha tries to help stepping on Billy's contacts, crushing them. Also, I think this is like the most pissed we've ever seen Billy. They're not sure how they're going to finish the Zeo Blaster now. Meanwhile, the rangers hit the monster off of the water treatment building, coming down and hitting him right in the face. They might not even need that thing. Also, Billy has completed the Zeo Blaster because he found his old glasses. That was underwhelming. 
They have to leave right away because Cestro's time window is about to close. The Rangers have the Zeo Blaster blowing up the Hydro Contaminator into nothing. Sprocket rushes away and the villains talk about how they won't have to rely on another machine ever again now. At Cestro's spaceship, Billy and him show up getting ready to go. Billy says that his parents gave him permission to go to space? <laughs> what the hell did he tell them? Cestro and Billy then climb aboard the spacecraft and Billy drops his chemistry book on the way in. Why does he still have a chemistry book if he's not in high school anymore? Billy looks very somber out at the park before Cestro ignites the engine, taking off into the sky slowly. Just as they leave, the five rangers show up on the beach, running toward where the spacecraft was, and they realize that they've just missed them. Rocky finds Billy's chemistry book, and the five are kind of bummed about this. Then they look up and see Cestro's spaceship fire off into space, and they wish Billy good luck, and Tommy says that they'll miss him. The end. This episode's like actually a pretty incredible use of Japanese footage compared to the last few episodes that have really struggled to do like anything. I mean, we got some real character development here for Billy, who has pretty much been ignored this entire season. He's also just gone off into space with Cestro. Sure, there are plot holes here that you could probably drive a damn truck through, but whatever, it's done well enough to like not have to care about that. It's also really cool to see Cestro return because the franchise rarely uses old characters in such a way. And honestly, it's a bit somber to see Billy leave, even if it's just for like a little while, because I mean, he's literally the last of the original five Power Rangers. It's weird. Also, where's Ninja if they're going to bring back Cestro? So how will next time go now that Billy isn't around? Until then, may the power protect you. Mm -hmm.